No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. No, oh, please! I have to. No! No! No, please! Oh my gosh! Please don't close out my game! Parable. Sorry, it's been forever since my last video upload on my YouTube channel for both this game and just in general. Um, school started up again, so I was just getting used back to used to school because you know school's very different from last year and this year. It's the same school, just different. the freak am I doing? Funny story, guys. You know how Stanley Parable takes place in the off in an office? Well, I just got done watching the TV show called The Office US version. It is it was funny. I just finished watching it. It was cool. My favorite character was Dwight. So there's that. Without further ado, let's 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 get started. We're gonna load game. Uh, as you can see that was the last time I even played the game. It's now September 29th. I don't actually have my phone with me. It's charging. So I, I would normally check the date, but I just memorized the date for today. So good for me. Um, I don't know why there's words on the floor. Can I? Oh, okay. I double click on that. Wait. It doesn't say anything about the world. It just says loading, 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 low. Actually, it says, loading, 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 low. Ding, low. Weird. Alright, guys, so last time we left off, we were in a room. With a phone. And we couldn't load up the console. Still not working. Still not loading the console. So, I don't know what's going on. What is the key bunny? Maybe I gotta hold it down. Right? Okay. What I put it I put it as G. I don't know why I did that, but you don't press G anyway, so didn't work. Psh, okay, Psh, whatever. I didn't need to know what bark meant anyway. I could I could look it up on the internet, but you know, it just wouldn't mean as much to me. I don't know why there's all these words and demented exit signs and dangers everywhere and vehicles, but I'm just gonna leave that behind me. Door's not gonna close behind me? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, it's just weird. Yeah, just normal workplace. Door's closing behind me. Donkey Kong poster in the back falling off the wall. I don't have my air conditioner on. It's, it's 72 degrees out. It's fine. Ladder? Oh my god! Is that how to no no he's probably like more like nine foot seven. Okay, that might be a little a little bit overdoing it. Oh, there's a fence you know your on choices this. Choices are meaningful. We can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine what? the main character no. dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. No, you're we just right, need to wouldn't. get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. What? Wait, so everything here is fake? Are you real, sir? Okay, well, you know me, just gonna head way back. Doors opening on their own. Sure, this place is haunted. You know, no money behind me. Just gonna walk on down. See, if I don't even remember my co-workers' names from last episode, what was there? Billy and Jimmy and... Diogenes! I don't know. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Well, can I not? How can I not? I walk really fast. 
Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing okay. responsibly and always putting the story first. Yes. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Is he gonna kill me? No! Why did you do that? Uh, Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. What the heck happened? The world broke! The world broke! Okay, I'm gonna go back in here. Okay, it's the same. Whatever! Okay, just check it for Easter eggs and all that! Okay, one more time, one more time, one more time! Okay, I give up. Oh. It's ruined. You, I can't believe, after everything we talked about, that you... My story! You've destroyed my work! Why? For what? What did you get out of that? I didn't what do did anything. you think was so special about no. seeing the game undone? No, it wasn't me! So much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. No! And what am I supposed to do? I don't know. If there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? Really? Well, yes. know that my story is now incorrect? I don't think I so. Go back to that. I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? Oh, I don't know. Oh, if I shut the game down entirely, my recording would crash. What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. No, please! I have to. No! My gosh! Please don't close out my game. What is this portal to? Up! Oh, I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish, with you. What? You, who thought you were so clever. I thought this was now a happy game. Are. My entire game is destroyed. Yeah. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you run it into the ground. I go what, in did here? you think that would be funny? You no. just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That it really has, not actually. He you. has a point. You're a child. I ha <gasps> oh. My story... <laughs> If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. This I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. What happened? Just behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. What? I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Oh, All right. this is scary. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! No! Why did you do that? Oh, I can't Quickly. do this. Hurry. Okay. Oh, it's doing this again. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. Okay, that fine. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. I gotta All do right. this one more time. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! No! <sighs> Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry! I oh, forces you not to do behave this. exactly as Stanley would. Fine! <sighs> Fine. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Hey, who's moving these slides? If I'm the only one here, why is the power on? That's my question. They're wasting energy. Blunk, I'm... Oh, God. They locked the broom closet. No. No. I left my car keys in there. Are you kidding me? Damn it. Damn it, no. You can't. I left my car keys in there. Ah. Coming to a staircase.
place, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Can I go downstairs? He's forcing me to do the right thing. You said there's an underground facility. I'm going up, not down. <gasps> you lied. It's this way. A locked door. Great. Fabulastic. Is this reception? Please. I'll be the receptionist. What would you need? What do you need, um, Mr. Insane Sock Junior Stanley, sir? Well, I need to see my boss. I don't know what a boss is, but you can see your boss. I don't know what a boss is, but I'm here to see my boss. So I'm just gonna go through these double doors here. No, I'm not gonna go through these double doors here. And I'm gonna see the icon of the game. And a panda. Because why not? Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on he his did? boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. Okay. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Mm -hmm. Shark 5517. What? <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. Night Shark 115. Night Shark 115. Night Shark 115. I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Okay. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This Excuse is me. a crucial step. It is, but I don't know it. Okay, fine, you're not gonna do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. What? If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? I you thought you what Stanley you says! You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak! Say something to me! Explain yourself, you coward! Because I had no choice! When he came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. What? Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Is everything all right? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Anything. Christian with two A's and Baker with two K's? That's a badass name! So Christian's my name. Baker is not my last name. Okay. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. That was creepy! Oh, here it is! End is never the end is never the end is never the end is loading! <laughs> Guys! What the heck just happened? That just got weird, creepy, strange, scary. That's two things, really, because, oh, I mean, the end.
thing. Oh, wow. Yeah, it starts me over. Thanks. All right, guys, so this time I'm going to do the right thing. I'm going to go on to the door. Um... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley uh -huh. decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. <gasps> I can get my car case! Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. My car keys aren't in here! Oh my god, are you kidding me? There was me? nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. He must have thought that... I think I took the bus. Dang it. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. But as it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Are you... are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm... I'm genuinely confused. I don't know. I just... just figured I... You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Hmm, okay. Can I get the broom closet ending now? Does that exist? Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe yes. when you go talk about this with your friend you'll say, Ow! Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. Mm, maybe I will. I would totally... Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That or with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Okay, now that now that's just offensive to Stanley. Like. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. Shh, it's dead. indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. No! Well, if the game's not gonna give me anything, that's gonna end up this episode, guys. If you liked it, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you later! I'll wait here one more minute. Maybe if I step out of the closet? Ah. Second player, it's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. You too? <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? A fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. <laughs> I'll just be in here.